But we begin in the AFC North with the Baltimore Ravens beating the Cincinnati Bengals 27-24 to yesterday at Paycar Stadium. For the Ravens, Lamar Jackson played better in week two than he did in week one. Lamar Jackson went 24-33, threw for 237 passing yards, two touchdowns. For the Bengals, Joe Burrow went 27-41. He threw for 222 passing yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Joe Burrow did re-aggravate his calf. Ravens improved to 2-0. Bengals fall to 0-2. And the Bengals are 0-2 for the fourth time in five seasons under head coach Zach Taylor. Here is Joe Burrow after the game. Tweaked it a little bit again. Uh, you know, we'll see where it is tomorrow. going to have to wait and see. I, I'm not sure how it's going to feel in the next couple of days. Uh, it's pretty sore right now, but no, no telling how it's going to feel. So I think we're going to take it day by day. How did you tweak it? Uh, it was on the it was on the play before the last touchdown. That was Joe Burrow in the post game press conference immediately after the Bengals lost to the Baltimore Ravens. And just to give y'all some numbers on the Bengals, they fell to zero and two. And these are teams that started zero and two with two division losses since two thousand twenty two. The Chargers in 03, the Vikings in 2013, Browns 2017, Commanders in 2019, Dolphins in 2020, Lions in 2020, and the Bengals now in 2023. All those teams that I named all missed the playoffs. And so everyone's talking about what's going on with the Bengals and Joe Burrow. And the first thing I want to talk about is I feel like the reason why Joe Burrow is struggling the way that he is right now is because Joe Burrow is obviously injured. Joe Burrow is injured, and it's obvious. That calf injury is affecting Joe Burrow and his play. You got to remember, this is a Joe Burrow who, coming into the season, I said that the three quarterbacks who are solidified in my eyes as to having nothing to prove are Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, and Lamar Jackson. And when you look at Joe Burrow specifically in his rookie season, he got injured. He comes back in his sophomore season in the NFL, leads the Bengals to a Super Bowl appearance. Then in his third year, he follows that up after he led them to a Super Bowl appearance. He gets them to an AFC championship game appearance. And so for me, I feel like Joe Burrow is proven, and he's proven that he can play well in big games. And also, even in college, Joe Burrow played well in big games. The man at LSU won a Heisman Trophy. He had 60 touchdowns, six interceptions in one particular season. I believe that was his Heisman season. And so Joe Burrow is proven. He's a proven winner. But the reason why Joe Burrow is currently struggling is because Joe Burrow is injured. His calf is bothering him. And so when your calf is bothering you, you can't have the, the, the effect and the delivery throwing the football like you're accustomed to having with that calf injury. Ever since he injured his calf in camp, Joe Burrow has not been the same. And the Bengals' approach was they were going to sit him out of the preseason and they were going to try to bring him in to start the season. And I feel like they wanted him to get into a rhythm as the season goes along. But the problem is it's went the other way, in the opposite direction. Instead of him being able to heal as time goes along and they play games, he re-aggravated his injury and in yesterday's loss to the Ravens. And now you have to ask the question, should the Bengals sit out Joe Burrow for the next few games? They got the Rams on Monday night next week here at Paycar Stadium. And then they have the Titans. If they don't have Joe Burrow, the Cincinnati Bengals will begin the season 0-4. Let me put that out there right now. 
if they don't have Joe Burrow and they have to sit Joe Burrow out the next few weeks so he can try to heal from his calf injury that he's currently dealing with, if they don't have Joe Burrow, they will lose to the Rams and they will lose to the Titans. You're not beating the Rams or Titans with their backup quarterbacks. We saw in preseason that the Bengals' backup quarterbacks are not very good. And so I just feel like he's injured right now, and that's the reason why he's struggling. That's the reason why he's struggling. And also, for whatever reason, so far in his career, Joe Burrow doesn't get off to great starts at the beginning of the season. This is Joe Burrow in his career. Weeks one and two, he's one and seven in his career. Burrow's career record in all other games, 23-12-1. and one. So this has been a pattern where the Bengals and Joe Burrow have gotten off to slow starts. And now Bengal fans are talking about, well, we got off to an 0-2 start, start last year. Last year they got off to an 0-2 start. They lost to the Steelers at home, and then they lost to the Cowboys in Dallas in week two. But – Unlike last year, this year, the Bengals started off 0-2, and, and those first two losses were division games. They lost to the Browns in week one. They lost to the Ravens in week two. And so when you lose division games, it, it's, it's almost like you're a game and a half back, not just one game back. So last year you lost two games, one game. That was a divisional game to the Steelers, and the next game was a game to the Cowboys. That won't hurt you as much. As the season goes along, compared to this year, when you lose two games to two division foes in weeks one and weeks two. Not to mention this year in the AFC, it's much tougher competition in 2023 than it is in 2022. This year in the AFC, it's loaded. You got Josh Allen with the Buffalo Bills. You got two attack of Iloa and the Miami Dolphins who are 2-0. In the AFC West, you know Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be there. In the AFC South, I know they lost yesterday, but Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars are a playoff team in the AFC. And even in the Bengals division alone, the Cleveland Browns are 1-0. They might be 2-0 after their game tonight against the Steelers. And the Ravens are already two games ahead of the Bengals in the AFC North. So I think the Bengals are in trouble. I think that if you're the Bengals, I think what they need to do is you got to look at how the Jets situation with Aaron Rodgers, how that just unfolded. You have to look at that and try to figure out a way to protect your investment in Joe Burrow. You got to protect Joe Burrow from himself because you know Joe Burrow wants to go out there and play. But the reason why I brought the Jets up was because in training camp, it was reports out of New York about how Aaron Rodgers was dealing with a calf injury. And we saw what happened four snaps into the season. Aaron Rodgers tears his Achilles. And so if you're the Bengals, you don't want to put Burrow in a position to where he suffers a significant injury and you already know he's dealing with the calf injury. So even if you have to punt on the 2023 season, that would be okay because you're going to have Joe Burrow for future seasons to come. He just signed a new long-term deal, so he's not going anywhere anytime soon. He's going to be right here in Cincinnati. So if you, I feel like if you have to punt on the, the 2023 season, then so be it. You need Joe Burrow for future seasons to come more so than just the 2023 season so these calf injuries they always lead to something worse so the Bengals got to be careful here they got to be careful here and then also even when you look at the Bengals schedule they still got to play Kansas City they still got to play Buffalo they still got to play San Francisco schedule it is it's going it's tough the rest of the way. It's tough. And, and it's not going to get any easier. So they got they got to figure figure this out. Jamar Chase, he hasn't been himself either because Joe Burrow's been dealing with this injury. And I thought in the second half they got some things going, but by that time I feel like the Ravens had already had momentum. 
they had already kind of put together a few drives offensively, and they were controlling the football game. But you got to give the Ravens some credit because in this game, the Ravens were able to throw the ball effectively. You saw Lamar Jackson sit back there in that pocket and deliver the football down the field. Lamar Jackson had over 200 passing yards and no turnovers. He was efficient, very, very efficient, getting the ball to his playmakers. And also in this game, remember, the Ravens, they were without their left tackle. They were also without their starting center. They already lost J.K. Dobbins for the season. So the Ravens are dealing with injuries on their end as well. And they still came out and played at a high level and controlled the game start to finish. So you got to get the Ravens some credit. Got to get the Ravens some credit from that, from that standpoint. And it was a great win for the Ravens over the Bengals in week two. But even when you look at the, the, the stat sheet, the Ravens had 178 rushing yards. So they were able to run the football with Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards had 10 carries, 62 rushing yards. Lamar had 12 carries, 54 rushing yards. But the way that Lamar distributed the football in the new office of coordinator. They got a new office of coordinator now. Their new office of coordinator, because they changed coordinators. They had Greg Roman last year. Now they have Todd Munkin. Todd Munkin is their new office of coordinator. And this is exactly what they want to see. They want to see Lamar stand in the pocket and throw the football down the field. And he did just that yesterday afternoon at Paycar Stadium. But it, things are going to get interesting for the Bengals as we move forward. It really, really is. And so that, that's the one, that's the one thing I'm looking looking for. I think if again, if you're the Bengals, you got to err on the side of caution here. You got to even if you have to sit Burrow out for a few weeks, even if it drops you to zero and four, zero and five on the season, if you have to pump for the 2024 season and for future seasons to come, and he's healthy, that's something that you have to do. That's something that you have to do. So those are my thoughts on the Ravens beating the Bengals yesterday at Pekar Stadium, 27 to 24. I think the Ravens are the favorites in the AFC North going forward. And I also feel like Lamar Jackson is going to win NFL MVP. And a lot of Bengal fans laughed at me, laughed at me when I came out with my preseason predictions for the divisions and who I believe is going to make the conference championship and make the Super Bowl. Everybody got on my status and my post and laughed at me when I said the Ravens were going to win the AFC North and when I said that the Lamar Jackson was going to win NFL MVP. Bengal fans got on there and they laughed at me. I don't think they're laughing anymore as Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens are now 2-0 and the Bengals are 0-2 to start the season.